good morning guys good morning um welcome back to time with time with me with me khole if you're to subscribe welcome back if you need to my channel welcome to you too while here don't forget to click on subscribe button and the notification bell so you can get a notification every single time i post a video and follow my socials list with friends on social media so i just thought that i should quickly take the time to explain the situation to you guys so i have a flight at 11 this morning yesterday it snowed in georgia where i stay it snowed and flights have just been cancelled so it's like really cold right now and the weather says that it feels like minus seven i'm actually wearing like two pairs of tights i'm wearing um a vest a shirt my new york hoodie a jersey and i'm gonna be wearing that black jacket that i always wear with a scarf because i'm not trying to feel cold my bags are so full like oh like i'm worried because of flights getting cancelled and i'm like I need to get to the airport and it's like literally um, 6.46 and my flight is at 11 and it means that I have to go to the airport, I need to go to the train and then I need to just wait. I pray that I'll be able to go on my flight and land in Panama City safely and I just thought I should quickly tell you guys like I'm literally burning right now, I am burning, I'm melting because my heat is also on so I'm going to quickly go and prepare myself something to eat before I leave the house and then we are going to be leaving currently they say that my flight is on time so I'm going to be like okay everything is going to go well, everything is going to go well everything is going to go well, everything is going to go well but y'all guys, um, y'all let's go to Panama as I said I'm not going to be vlogging as much because I'm just going to be resting and just chilling this week, I'm going today and I come back on Friday and then in the next two days I leave Long, yesterday was my very last day of working here as an au pair so crazy Bye. guys i don't know about you but having to go through the tsa for me is like one of the most stressful parts about going through the airport because you literally take everything off your clothes I don't want to worry about like, your jacket, your shoes. I have to take your laptop out. I have to take your shoes off, your phone, your airpods. Go to literally everything. And then when you wait some air stuff, you wait some air flat to keep because you just like, I don't know, everyone takes your stuff. And it's stressful because you're rushing to get all the stuff that you took off back on. And then it's just a maza. I leave at one, so you have a lot of sex. Do them. <laughs> I am so exhausted. But it's like a in the to get to the TSA checkpoint point for like 45 minutes I just got out 45 minutes guys I'm not even kind of city it's so hot I'm burning I'm not boiling right now um then I will be behind Georgia so I'm an hour behind which is annoying okay this is okay. so annoying I'm out behind <laughs> Which kind of sucks. But now I'm gonna be navigating my way. This is like very small airport. But now I'm gonna be navigating my way to the Airbnb so I'm able to drop my bag off. And then I'm gonna buy groceries. It's a very small airport. Being here is giving me like high prison break vibes. It's so crazy. Oh, the reason I chose kind of missing to And I'll be able to spend like really soon. like Joburg weather better than what I was in just happy to see the sun but then the sun is so deceiving the sun is warm this is not good and not even Joburg weather I'm lying Pretoria weather this is like a Pretoria winter and then I'm gonna go to Walmart and get something to eat too then like oh guys I'm literally by the beach I'm so excited I'm literally by the beach which is great but I see McDonald's and I'm hungry, so I'm gonna first go to McDonald's. I don't Guys, I just got here and oh wow! Oh my gosh, I can't wait to ah! So I literally put my bag here, the other bag over there, and I'm gonna be giving you guys a tour. So here is the door, and then let me move this for you, and then. Oh, here's the bathroom. Okay, where do I switch the lights on for the bathroom? Why is the sensors? Oh, here's the bottom here. I am. Oh, wow. Nice cabin space. The toilet. Oh, that's cute. Happy thoughts. 
Oh, this is nice. And then, oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> I don't know what that was. It would be fun if this was a laundry room. And it is a laundry room. Stunning. And then you keep on walking. There's a place to put all your bags and stuff. And then there's this. Guys, look at how gorgeous this place is. Oh, wow. There's even the dishwasher. I love this. And then the bed. And then a couch to just chill the TV. And then here is the outside. There's this. Guys! Ah! Ah! I'm going to open the door just to go outside. I literally had to scream. <gasps> Guys! Oh my goodness, I'm in love with this Airbnb. Guys, how pretty is this? How pretty. Oh my gosh, I'm melting. This is so cute. I cannot. I just, I can't. I'm going to give you guys a quick grocery haul. And then like, I'm going to, um, this lighting let's talk about it i'm gonna give you guys a quick grocery haul so i got myself these blueberries um these chips got myself this um sesame seed um vegan chicken i love it orange juice jolly ranches i swear it looks like i just have snacks um this and then i got myself oh got myself this rice to have for dinner today and tomorrow so young finds that is what i got other stuff is like little you know, toilet cheese or whatever but this place is gorgeous i just need to suck it in but hi this just feels like my place like i just I, I'm, I'm getting so excited i'm just like oh wow it comes with literally a blender you have to be kidding me this place wow even pan holders get out of here pans i love this place already and i have not you know stayed here for long even cleaning stuff glasses and this place is like fully equipped i love it so much guys just looking at the view i feel like my city has just evaporated and went away just looking at how beautiful this view is like it might low-key might be like a mess but guys so um yesterday was the very last day of my um on my pay year in atlanta but i'm gonna be going back let me quickly tell you guys so i planned this trip to panama city deliberately because the city girl in me is so tired and your fatigue hit me in december like academically and then um it hit me again today i was like i'm just so tired i just feel so exhausted because of you know like i just i just told myself that i just need time to rest i just need time to recuperate myself and just to like rest just to sleep just to chill and i was like i want to go to the beach and the reason why i chose panama city is because of prison break like back in 2019 um michael schofield ran away in panama city and i told myself i'm like yeah zine when i go to america i'm gonna go to panama city and coming here is just like going back to 2006 because like there's like everything here is like kind of like old but i'm not gonna be vlogging it as much because i just want to take time to just recuperate myself just to like journal going to the beach needed this time to just recuperate myself because i was like i could be going to a city i could be doing like fun city girl things but i was like the city girl is me in me is dead and like she's just so tired that i couldn't revive her and another reason why I was like, um, I chose this Airbnb specifically because I'm like, I'm going to be spending so much time resting that I want to be resting in such like a comfortable, nice spot. Because all the time I go to the city, I'm always just resting in places where I can just sleep because I know that I'm not going to be spending the time there. But at this time, I was just like, you know, I want to go to a place where I know that I'm going to be spending all my time there. So y'all guys, this is like the place. It's so cute. It is so cute. I love it so much. I feel like I could stay here. I just like all the other places like i'll link the airbnb down below like i love this airbnb it's so it's so nice it's cute like i'm, I'm really excited guys i haven't been to the beach in such a long time in my email i went to artificial beach or something to the beach like most yo guys i can't even remember the last time i went to the beach but i haven't been to 
I didn't even go to the beach in New York or Dubai. Mm -mm. When was the last time? Guys, I can't even, the fact that I can't remember the last time I went to the beach just shows that I haven't been to the beach in a very long time. So, yeah. I just need to spoil myself and just rest and just pull up. So this is like my very first vacation. My gift into going to 2022, into a new chapter, into a new journey. So yeah. Standard procedure. Um, just got the other jersey off. I'm getting my bag ready. If you guys don't feel like this vlog is everywhere, I'm really sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just... I'm excited, yeah. I'm rushing to get to the beach. It's alright there guys, I haven't been to the beach in such a long time. I'm getting so giddy. Look at how gorgeous this place is. Golden hour. Like watching the waves, but I'm sitting in second season like a year, it's just gone by that fast, guys. Wow, it's so gorgeous here. Watching the sunset is really you have to buy this band it's like ten dollars some is included in the accommodation but this airbnb did not come with it so i had to pay ten dollars for it it allows you to have it um so what's the access access to the private pool it allows you to use the downstairs swimming pool the indoor pool i'm not going to be using the pool because of my hair i did not relax my hair for me to bomb my hair because but what i'm going to Good morning guys so i woke up early deliberately look to see the sun rise and say it's gonna rise at six but it's like rising right now you know like it will love flu it's concoction of mom's home it's not nice but it will love flu so i was like Look at how pretty it is. Look. Look at this lighting. I love this lighting so much. I'm thinking about my good lighting. Look. Look. guys it's so cold my fingers are frozen like it's just it's 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 very cold it's extremely cold but i can't feel my fingers <laughs> but the panama city so guys i have a surprise for you i have like a surprise for you and um yeah let me show you guys the surprise but let me show you guys the surprise that i have tada hi <laughs> um so nobody has ever seen me in a wig this is like my very first time wearing like a wig out it's the length for me chill it's like my very first time wearing a wig out i've always wanted a wig funny um like i've always told myself that i'm gonna buy a wig but like i've been delaying the process and finally last year january i told myself i'm gonna buy a wig and i didn't buy it i bought it like this year january with jamie and i love it it's like wavy two o'clock i haven't had breakfast yet like it just feels so fun seeing myself in a wig and i'm like what and i don't know how to lay it but like it just feels 
so majestic or whatever. <laughs> yeah. mm, mm, mm. I don't know how to act. I honestly don't know. I don't know. I don't know how to act. And I like my wash band. Did I show you guys that I have a new wash band? I got a new wash band, but like I got it like for Christmas as a Christmas present to myself, but then it had to get adjusted and then I got adjusted the other day, so yeah. Let me call in Debo like and let me hear her reaction. Let me call in Debo because she wants me. Hi. Oh, hi, sis. Are you breaking the wig? I'm wearing the wig, child. <laughs> I'm wearing. Come closer. Come closer. Like, I, I, I put glue over here and over here and over here, right? It's, it's, it's giving, it's giving what it's supposed to give. Why do I look like such a big girl? You didn't show me your badge. Yeah. so much warmer today it's 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 really warm i love it it's very warm today <sighs> i can't believe that the day is over crazy on how time flies but anyway guys let's look at the beach i feel like i can't see i'm listening to the interpolo one it wee 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 in the water and then my shoes and socks got wet i just love that for me i just love that for me because it's so pretty and if you guys can see i'm soaking i'm soaking oh my goodness guys the outside pool properly so there's a pool over there and then it connects and then it goes like then we do this and it goes all the way around and then there's like a small jacuzzi over there and then this is how like the swimming pool looks it's pretty cool and then as you look over there there's the beach and then there are other buildings this is very nice though I haven't sat out there yet but good morning guys good morning as you guys can see today is like a totally different day today's wednesday and it's like very sunny the reason i'm wearing this top again is because i want to take pictures we belong together just let me be hi guys i'm back like literally an hour later we are leaving now this time it's for real like i was on phone calls my mom was talking to me like why is everybody calling me today i don't even know where i'm going to be honest and it feels very windy outside but i'm trying to take the risk and not wear a jersey very something we have just left there's the beach ocean um i'm just gonna be walking i have a jersey in my hand just in case i get cold i don't even know where i'm going we'll see where we're going but for that we're gonna be back to obviously watch the sun set okay guys it is quite windy i'm wearing my jersey getting hot because why not so I was asking the lady that works at the hotel, I got a new band, been changing my band every single day. Um, if they're like places for me to go and see things, she's like, just walk by the McDonald's street, but she was telling me that like most of the stuff is closed because it is currently out of season because everything is usually open in um, the summertime. I'm actually alone in the street, I'm still gonna remember. She's like, everything is usually alone in the summertime and since it's, it's January and it's cold and windy, things aren't going to be open so yeah i don't know if i'm going to do this and i always like say this but tonight i feel like i want to take myself out on dinner on like a dinner date you know and the question is where am i gonna go am i gonna go to mcdonald's there's nothing wrong with going to mcdonald's but like mcdonald's eh. i want something like cute man There's 
this here, which is very cool. <laughs> it's an indoor amusement park in this room. Please believe it or not. Okay. okay. You do that on each one of these. My very first time mini golfing. I'm excited. I'm really excited. I got it in twice. I think I'm only like gonna vlog for like for like the one, the first two, and then afterwards I'm gonna have fun. I'm done with it. It was fun. I really had a good time. I enjoyed myself. But I do it again, yes, with people. I was actually finding what on my own. Now it's like currently almost three, but I'm gonna be having my dinner so that I can watch the sunset. Because sunsets at like um uh, the sunset at four, like to five, right? Four thirty around there. And I really wanna watch it set because the hand is gonna be raining tomorrow night even Friday. And I don't have any like network or data oh. so i had to go to mcdonald's from the place to like who just my friend what i should do because i'm a very indecisive person so if this will help me you know yourself shout out um i'm gonna be going to have my dinner now because it's like a hibachi sushi buffet place with seafood and all and i was talking about seafood earlier oh, but i really i'm, I'm, I'm craving tempura sushi i need tempura in the side of the object in my body having it at like dinner time is gonna be $16. I mean, if you have it now, then it means that I won't have to go out later. Then, like, after watching the sunset, it's gonna be like really cold and dark. And then I can just, um, then I can just chill by my room and just, you know, vibe or whatever and watch the show or something. Just chill. I'm really excited. I can already taste the tempura. I miss Emily because I'm always going to get tempura sushi with her. Imagine, because I usually pay like five dollars for my sushi but now I'm going to be paying $10 for sushi and like wings, the all the bread oh, oh, like let's go on it it's extremely windy I really wanted to go like swim today but it's extremely windy not swim but like just like chill out here but it's extremely windy Whoa. Whoa! Morning. So I want to take pictures in this dress, and I'm like literally rushing out so that I can catch good lighting. I've gotten this dress like long time ago. I didn't lay my wig because I don't have time to be laying my wig if I want to be going to take pictures. I need to my sunglasses. Ah, oh. six. my sunglasses. They're not in here. Go, guys. Let me go. I have a jersey with me. Oh wow, guys, look. I was sleeping because I woke up at like two in the morning and then I did devotion because I was like, there's literally a reason why I'm up at this time. And then I started to like clean and tidy up. And then after that, why is that event taking so long? I decided to just take a walk. I don't even know where I'm walking to. My accommodation is like over there. But I'm just gonna be walking because why not? So, major bags and kind of what I have. It's so funny, I'm still walking right away. When I was young, I would just, we would connect shells. And then from like when I was young, she had this other shell thing. Oh, hi! She had this other thing that had shells. And then, like, she'd always tell us that if you put the shell by ear, you're able to hear the waves. 
and then would always do that. I wish that she still had it, but I think that she gave it away. And then one thing I would always do in West Durban, I don't know if you guys also did it, but I feel like every black person that went to the beach when they went did this, we would pour water bottles, like three liter water bottles of the um, of the sea water, and then we would put it in the bottles, and then like she'd give it to her sisters, and then we'd also keep one for ourselves. Like, she'd keep one for herself. I don't think that we ever kept that because mom was like. I remember there was a day where I was like, I want to put my mom was like, where are you going to keep it? And then we would just, you know, we would collect um, shells and for the water bottles. I'm going to call her and tell her about it so that we can, so we can retrieve off the past. Go ahead and take my shower, guys. I just want to emphasize it and I always emphasize this on um, the solo trips and vacations I go on is that it's very important to just take time on your own and just go on a trip you know like just you know obviously if you like i don't know i don't want to say if you buy expensive things but like you know if like you oh what's the word you need to spend a little more money on yourself more money than you do because you put so much work in on yourself you work so hard to be able to achieve all the goals that you want to reach and just being able to accomplish like things that you accomplish like your body's able to like wake you up in the morning feed you and all of that and like you just need to sometimes you just need to splurge and just take time to take care of yourself and also just resting i feel like we really underestimate how important it is to rest like people always emphasize like yo we need to rest and sometimes it's easier said than done because we just live busy lives because next thing you know you're working then after work you have to meet up with friends and then when it's time for you to rest there's like barely any time for you to rest but like it's very important to just take time to rest i feel like i learned this on this trip and i like i realized how extremely tired and fatigued i was it made me realize that sometimes i just need to rest i just need to rest but i'm really happy this was like my very first vacation of the year but my last vacation of my first au pair year but my first vacation for the new year um it's always better to take vacations in january because obviously one they are cheaper but it's just i don't know like i just feel my heart just feels so full i just feel so happy like i'm even thinking i'm like when i was back in high school i really underestimated like holidays and how necessary they were like the school holidays like i am honestly just so grateful that I was able to come to Panama City and literally be by the beach. I'm literally staying at the beach. I honestly do feel like at peace. Like I just feel at peace. Like I feel very zen. I feel so calm. I feel rejuvenated. I feel refreshed. And I'm trying to think I'm like, yo, reality has to set in. As I'm, I'm like, I wish I could stay here for long, but I'm going to get like bored and tired. I keep wearing the hair on me because um, it could get ruined. So I just decided to use my hair. Haven't seen her in a minute. Like, I will see her every day, but like. You know how we always tell ourselves, like when it's raining, we're not gonna do stuff because it's raining or like, because it's cold and we just wanna be lazy. Even though like, the weather kind of sucks. But today I'm gonna do something. I'm like. So, the sky wheel is closed because of the rain. So, like, the stores are, I didn't think that, um the thing is here so i'm just going to be walking around here i'm trying to see salt flavor mm. she feel like i'm wearing a hat because my hair is getting wet and i can't afford that i feel like a celebrity one thing about me, I won't get an ice cream. I got a strawberry um, cheesecake. It's so delicious. My very last time coming to the beach. There's really no sun to watch that's going to be setting, unfortunately. But let's watch. The thing was like further, but now it's closer. And as I'm back from the store, and I got um these really cute i've been looking for leather jeans and well leather pants and i got these really cute leather pants from forever 21 they're really nice though i'm excited to wear them i wanted to buy like heels but i didn't like the price of the shoes and i was just like i'm gonna leave them but open they open at the bottom 
I'm kind of sad that I couldn't go to the Skyline or go on a bike ride because of the weather and it being on service. And I couldn't also go on a boat ride because of the thing, but other than My current situation. It's cold. Morning, guys. So, mm, my hair. So, last yesterday I realized that I lost my duke and I did laundry and I can't find it. Now I need to tint all my clothes until I find my head scarf. And I had to sleep without a head scarf. I was not grand. <laughs> I went to sleep. I'm busy packing because I, I have to take out at 10. It's like kind of like 6 right now. If you guys have made it this far in the video, thank you so much. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I actually hope that I actually enjoy editing. Ah, uh, guys, I just don't know how to explain, but it's just so crazy on how when you need to hear something and God just puts, you just have a conversation with somebody and they're able to tell you exactly what it is that you want to hear. Wow, God really works in mysterious ways. And I'm just so happy and thankful that I got to hear what I needed to hear today. I'm just editing this video because I have not seen the type of content that is on this video as I'm recording this. But I honestly hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment down below. Don't forget to like, share, I have so much peace of mind and so much revelation. And I'm just so glad and grateful for that. I can't wait to see you guys in my next video. I literally can't wait for the next video that I'm gonna be putting up. <laughs> it's a very long wait. Thank you so much for the love and support and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.